real me, I swear you gotta feel me Before they try and kill me They gotta make some choices They run it out of options Cause I've been going off And they don't know when it's still trapped Don't they track me, it's really still the real me I swear you gotta feel me Before they try and kill me They gotta make some choices They run it out of options Cause I've been going off And they don't know when it's still trapped Hey everybody, I'm back once again with another banger so today we're going to be doing a video on my crown wigs 613 here i'm just showing you guys what came in the bag these lashes was actually really cute but the light wasn't trying to let me live so today we're going to be doing a 13 by 6 lace frontal wigs transparent lace the lace was really 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 nice this is 22 inches but i decided to change it up i'm going to do a little mediumish chocolateish brown roots and i'm gonna also tint the hair itself so i went in with some wella charma toner not tint toned the hair i went ahead and i toned the hair from this barbie blonde and got my roots all chocolatey brown and i'm gonna show you guys how i did that look today barely any shedding just how i like it so here are the products that i'm going to be using i will list them all down below so this is my texture and tones my wella charmer i bought four boxes of them and my 40 volume developer so this is how i seal the inside of my lace if you saw me dye any of my previous hairs before in my past videos you know i like to spray a lot you could do like five layers of freeze blast spray to ensure that the dye does not bleed through the lace and you know mess your lace up breathe through the bleed through the top of the hair <laughs> and mess your lace up then you want to go in with a blow dryer on high heat and make sure it comes back crispy so i went ahead and mixed my texture and tones this is um light brown i mixed it in a bowl instead of just pouring it on this way which would have been a mess because the look i was going for i didn't want the roots to come out way too far so here i'm just going to show you a short clip on how I dyed it and then when I got to the top I basically did a middle part which is the part that I wanted to do and I dyed it in that way so basically if you want to do a side part you're going to dye it that way in the form of a side part if you want to do a middle part you're going to dye it that way in the form of a middle part if you get what I'm saying As you dye it, it will get darker and darker, but don't worry. Um, what I messed up with was I should have left this on a little longer. I ended up having to mix some darkest brown and paprika. I didn't put that part on camera because I was actually panicking. I said actually, actually, yo, I be bugging. I was panicking. Sorry, I was going crazy when I seen that it was way too light i'm like what the hell am i about to do so i didn't record that part but i got it and you're gonna see how it looks in the end so i just went over it with some ma mainly the darkest brown and a little bit of um paprika the coloring a door and i mixed it up and i just went through it row by row again like how you see me did here and that's how i got it to come out perfectly because it did end up coming out red when i had put the toner on the back like see right here it came out red i'm like yo what's this and especially when I put the toner on it in the back, it was just terrible. So now here, I just got an empty container and I'm mixing up my 40 volume and three bottles. I use three bottles of T35. So for every one part um, toner, you want to use two part developer. So when you pour out the bottle of toner, you want to fill it up twice with developer and pour it in. That's how you do the perfect, correct measurement for toning any hair. So 
also after I did this I just gave it a good stir I mixed it up really good and I began to um, paint it onto the bundles but I mean the wig I said the bundles I began to paint it onto the wig but I didn't use the brush anymore I started dipping the comb and then using the comb I started using my hands because it was faster like I really didn't need to use the brush but what somebody didn't tell me <laughs> was that when you when the, when the dye gets in contact with the toner the hair will turn red which is why I had to go back through it with darkest brown and paprika but <laughs> don't worry I fixed it I fixed it I will do another video for you guys on just those two colors with the adore darkest brown and paprika or if you want you know the um exact formula or me to tell you how to do it you can just comment down below and i'll give you the perfect exact instructions on how i got my hair to look like the end result so here you know now it's just i'm just toning it and i left it on for about 30 minutes i don't want to leave it on too long because i know like this hair is really really nice it was really soft it didn't give me any problems but you can't leave dye on hair for too long like would you leave dye on your real hair for long no because you're gonna be bald right all right then i needed this week because i was going on vacation okay honey so yeah So after I let it sit for about what I said 25 minutes I said about that like 25 probably almost 30 minutes I didn't want it to get too dark I was a little afraid so I just washed it out and this was the end result after I fixed my roots and I know my part looks a little wide I went over the part like I just kept going inwards and inwards till it got really narrow with the same darkest brown and paprika so now I'm gonna go in with my alcohol 99% or 91% this was it doesn't matter the higher the better and then I went in with my bold hold um, skin protectant you want to make sure you use that make sure you use your bold hold skin protectant because it works really good with making sure your skin doesn't get bumped up and making sure your lace lasts longer I went in with about three layers you could go in with four or five and then I proceeded to the sleigh you guys know how I rock with this part so just pay attention you know three to four layers your last layer you want to make sure that dries and you're good so right here I'm just cutting out the air sides um to make sure it fits perfectly above my ear and it's not too long and I don't have excess lace and then that's about it So for my last layer I added a little extra glue and remember what I told you guys smooth it all the way out I don't care what you saw I don't care what they told you you're not supposed to stick the lace on the glue while it's white you're gonna look crazy and even if it doesn't look crazy it's not gonna last long because it didn't dry right so make sure you smooth it all the way out and wait till it is completely dry and all you it look like a thin piece of plastic over your head okay so then that's when you know it is safe to lay your lace So after I cut off the front piece, the, the um, that extra lace in the front, I go over any pieces that needed to be glued down 
as you can see here, you just want to go over any little pieces and just rub, put some glue there about three or four times. Don't mind my friends in the background. When I said we was getting ready for this trip, this is the night before the trip. We was panicking. We was all in there until like seven in the morning in the shop getting ready. It was crazy. But yeah, um, make sure you go over the spots that you missed with glue about three or four times. Just like how you put the regular layers on. And then you want to stick it down with your comb and then proceed to blow drying it on a very high heat. Don't burn yourself, but like, make sure you're melting it, okay? So now here I'm just parting out my section where I'm gonna be using for my baby hairs. You know they're not gonna be this long. Don't even don't play with me. You know they're not gonna be this long. So this is what um the section that I'm gonna use for the baby hairs, and then you know I go in with my spritz, or you could use got to be glue freeze blast spray, but I don't know. I prefer the spritz or even the bed head spray that I used in my previous videos. Um then you just go ahead and you're gonna spray all around the hairline. Tie it down with an elastic band. Make sure it's the broad elastic band. I get mine from my local, um, I think it was a fabric store. Yes, my local fabric store um, uptown by where I live. And I just tie it down and go under the dryer for about 10, 15 minutes. But because I was on crunch time, I just, like I said, normally if, I don't, if I'm not under a dryer, I'll just start styling my hair or walking around. So now I'm going in with my wax sticks by my by she is bomb she is bomb collection i'm going to drop her link below her products are amazing shout out to she is bomb i love her products i love it i love it i love it. her wax sticks they tame my flyaways like when you taming a dog yes sit and they sit and they don't move so now i'm just go ahead and hot comb in the top of my hair if you follow all of my steps in my videos, I promise you I get good reviews all the time. You will never go wrong. So here now, I'm just taking my hot comb and I'm really pressing my hair down because flat hair is so important to me. Like, shouldn't it be important to everyone? This hair is a color mist protector. When you spray it on any colored hair, it keeps it from fading and becoming dull. So yeah, this is really good too. Oh, where's my vacation, you asked? <laughs> I was in Miami. Let me tell y'all. I was in Miami turning up. I was lit 24-7. I didn't vlog because it completely slipped me. Like, I was so lit. I completely forgot to vlog. But I got to do it over. I didn't do it right. I was on the back of no bikes. I wasn't hanging out nobody drop top. Like, I got to do it over. I got to run that back. <laughs> I got to run that trip back one more time when COVID-19 is done. Oh, yeah. Don't forget. Stay inside, please, so we can end this fastly, quickly, and, you know, hurry up and get over this process. And don't forget to wash your hands. Yeah. So after I finished flat ironing my hair, you know, getting it all nice and bone straight, this is what it looks like after it has been melted. And I wasn't even under a dryer, as you can see. But you can go under the dryer if you want to or follow the steps that I did. So this hair is very soft, very swishy and swayy. It was just moving like the wind. You feel me? Like, this was really good hair. So shout outs to my crowned wigs for this hair. I really do like the 613 hair because y'all know 613 hair be stale AF, okay? But this was really nice, very soft. It gave me little to no shedding. Even after all that harsh toning and dyeing, it was no issues. So now you're just going to watch me effortlessly. Nah, it was a lot of effort because it was getting on my nerves. No, let me not even 
just say that. Y'all just could watch me do my baby hairs. I find this so satisfying. So here I'm going in with She Is Bomb Foam and Slick and Slay Gel. That foam is not regular mousse. It is sticky as hell and I love it because it helps my wig installs last longer and it's not like the regular mousse that's going to have your, you know, front tools lifting and stuff. So I do really like this product. And you can also go in with the Slick and Slay Gel after you finish using the mousse to set your baby hairs. To do your baby hairs, like to mold them, you want to go in with the Slick and Slay Gel and just go over it like with your fingertips just to help them set and stay. All right, <laughs> look, look, ah, look at that. I was like, oh shoot, this is the best baby hair I've done in a very, very long time. So now I'm just going in with my hot comb. I just, I'm in love with a hot comb. I need a hot comb with my face on it. I need a hot comb with my nail on it, yes. So now I'm just smoothing out my edges, pushing everything back, flattening everything out, and getting myself, you know, slayed per usual. And these are really the end results, you know. Here I'm just going over my edges, like I said. And making sure everything is just slick and slayed. Damn, God bless these hands, yo, word. I be looking at my hands sometimes, no matter how rusty, dusty, and crusty they be looking. I just be like, yo, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you very much. Because I have a trade. I have a talent. And God continues to bless me every day. I just get better and better. And hopefully you guys can get better and better too. Even better than me.
So here are the final results. Um, once again, shout out to my crown wigs. This hair is beautiful. It's soft and entangled and gives me no problems. So I want you guys to hit up my description box. The link to this hair and everything in the description will be below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I love you guys. I love you guys. I need to find a name for y'all. Like, y'all really my gang. Like, I love y'all. Y'all support me and everything. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Hit that notification bell and stay tuned because I'm dropping another one. I'm dropping another one in a few days, all right? So just, yeah, watch. All right? Love you guys. Good night.